Breaking news, guys. Finally, finally, the Synagogue Church of All Nations releases statement on BBC's revelation about late T.B. Joshua's church. Everybody just tired. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Synagogue Church of All Nations has responded to the controversial BBC documentary about its founder, the late Temi Tokbe Babatunde Joshua, popularly known as Prophet T.B. Joshua. In a statement signed by its public affairs director, Diary, uh, Synagogue faulted the broadcasting station and its documentary, describing it as baseless and highlighting that the individuals interviewed in the report were not affiliated with the church. Niger News understands that the church intention is issuing the, the statement was to clarify any misconceptions that may have arisen from the documentary, which has generated mixed reactions in the Christendom and among concerned Nigerians and authorities. It is worth noting that the BBC documentary, which was released on Monday, made news headlines with serious allegations against T.B. Joshua, including accusations of rape by some members. However, Synagogue has said the BBC World Service Investigative Unit, codenamed, codenamed African Eye, came out this week with wide and strange episode of atrocities against the late founder of Synagogue. The church emphasized that the investigation was carried out in a manner that deviated from the ethical and fundamental principles of the journalism professor, profession. As per the church perspective, journalism being a societal watchdog necessitates the practice of fairness, balance, and objectivity to uphold its extinct position as a fourth estate of the realm. The statement added, BBC has compromised these lofty principles by descending into fictional narrative and propaganda, thus turning itself into a weapon for a hard check job as gangsters in the gap of journalism with a destructive interior motive to personal gains against a perceived enemy. Only BBC can best explain why it woefully deviated from true journalism and chose to be dishing junks and feeding the public with stones caught bread by his offensive and disenchanted report of discounted elements. This is to say the least is insulting to our profession, professional and public intelligence. One thing is very obvious, hundreds of BBC uh, charades cannot rubbish the indelible footprints of T.B. Joshua's legacies on earth again. According to the church, there are numerous individuals who have experienced astonishing miracles and greatly benefited from the anointing and grace bestowed upon them by the Lord through T.B. Joshua. He said these beneficiaries can be found everywhere, and these and their existence cannot be disputed. Synagogue observed that many of the individuals inside in the UK, which is the home base of BBC, it however expressed regret that the buyers' investigative highs of BBC failed to acknowledge their presence and instead rely on obviously biased narrators. The church said courtless broken families that have been reconciled by T.B. Joshua are also experiencing their dissatisfaction with BBC broadcasts of falsehood. Additionally, he said that numerous vulnerable children from various parts of the world, some of whom were brought by the parents and others, rescued from drug dens or 
uh, or brutes who have had their destinies restored are also uh, angered by the offensive reports. Synagogue said BBC has clearly harmed his own reputation through his compromise and unprofessional journalism. It added that BBC would not have lost anything if it had gone to the church even in disguise in order to have direct experience of what was happening in the synagogue instead of relying on discounted and manipulated individuals, some of whom were never known before in the church. Some of those identified there are the release of homosexual and lesbian associations associate my findings for that show that everything the bbc put together is strange to synagogue one other clearly uh, logic, uh, logical thing in the the chariot of is the bbc categorical statement that the man of god was involved in all the ab abuse for over two decades how can that be in a nation governed by law it shows the situation a uh, crude disrespect and brazy section of nigeria where we are all those shameless interviewers in all the decades what it when was it when the man passed on that they suddenly become awake or came back to their senses only a fool we have respect for such uh, charlatans. Daily Post quoted the church statement to have read. Additionally, disregarding the documentary, the church emphasized that the BBC simply aimed to deframe the church by using uh, a godly language towards it. The church further stated that it was evident that the individuals behind the Bayard's BBC production must have been envious of the church. The church's ongoing expansion, uh, liking it to a flourishing tree planted by the uh, riverside. Thank God your reports exonerated his only wife of any wrongdoings throughout the decades of your so-called investigated, uh, lopsided work. But did you think any wife at all can see and watch all these nonsensical and annoying scenarios you painted for decades and still kept silent and am yet to read or see such a woman in the universe. This is logical, irritating, comprehensibly, un unfartable and satanically dubious, malicious. The church condemned the reports and begged God to forgive the, the sponsor, saying, Persecution of divine envies or servant of God was not new in history. Hmm. So, guys, what's your take on this? Kindly uh, share your views below the comment section. Thank you.